Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about five things I love about being a homemaker and one thing I don't like. I've been a homemaker for about five or six months now, so I feel like I've kind of got into a routine of things and I've figured out, you know, what I like and what I don't. The first thing I love is being able to live life at my own pace. I'm super lucky to be able to wake up every morning naturally without an alarm clock. I can start the day when my body says that it's ready to start the day. Now, of course, I still have busy days or days where I'm rushing myself because I'm just so eager to get something done. But overall, I have that choice where if I'm super tired or if I'm sick or if something comes up, that I can rearrange my schedule and just take time to slow down and enjoy life. The second thing I love is being able to set my own schedule. So I've got some semblance of morning routine and a night routine, but everything in between, I decide pretty much the night before. Um, some, some things do kind of transfer over from week to week, like things I do every Monday or things I do every Thursday. But for the most part, the night before, I'll sit down, look at my planner, and decide what do I want to get done tomorrow, and then I'll write that down. That'll be my plan for the day. I just love having that sense of control to be able to really follow, you know, the order in which I want to do things or the things that I'm choosing to do that day. And I try pretty hard to honor myself, and when I write something in my planner and I say I'm going to get it done, I always you know, to the best of my abilities, try to follow through with that. The third thing I love is being able to spend more time maintaining the house, keeping everything cleaner and tidier and more organized. There is definitely a sense of accomplishment that comes from creating a beautiful space to live in and being able to provide that for my husband. The third thing I love is being able to maintain the house without feeling like I have two jobs. Back when I was working, I obviously was still well, I shouldn't say obviously, but back when I was working, I was still doing all of the cooking and cleaning and dishes and laundry and all that stuff. So it really felt like I had two jobs sometimes. And I love now just feeling like I have one job, just taking care of the house. And everything is a cleaner and tidier and more organized more consistently. The fourth thing I love is having more time to pursue various interests and hobbies. Back when I was working, I was either super busy or when I did have some free time, I was too tired to actually do anything constructive and I just wanted to veg. I've been able to spend more time making YouTube videos so I can upload regularly, been able to exercise more regularly, I've been trying a lot of new recipes in the kitchen, I've been able to do a lot more creative things like drawing and scrapbooking and also learning some new things. The fifth thing I love is being able to spend more time with my husband. Since he works night shift, I can switch my sleeping schedule to more closely align with his, just so that we have the most overlap in, you know, when we're asleep and when we're awake together. Back when I was working, there would be stretches of days where we would only see each other for about two hours. Right now he's also working from home, so we are spending even more time together. We each have our own little desks, so while he's working, I can be over on my desk doing YouTube stuff or drawing or whatever it may be, or like little co-work things. And the one thing I don't love about being a homemaker is I feel like I am more concerned about how other people perceive me. I think not everyone understands what it means to be a homemaker or understands why I would want to be a homemaker. And, you know, that's understandable, of course, because not everyone wants to be a homemaker. I feel like I had to go through a period of building up my self-confidence and, you know, really reminding myself that what I do is incredibly valuable. Some people ask questions because they're just curious. I think it can be hard to make the distinction between someone who is truly being judgmental and critical and someone who is not because, you know, I think I go through periods of time where I kind of feel like everyone judges me and it's really just like a self-conscious thing. But at the end of the day, I just have to remember that it's my life. No one else has to live it, so no one else has to love it. 
I think TV shows like The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and stuff like that give Housewives a really kind of bad name. I think that they portray being a housewife as being super wealthy and having this very lavish lifestyle and spending all your time either shopping or just like hanging out with your gal pals and you know every housewife has their own lifestyle i'm sure there are housewives not on tv who do live that kind of lifestyle but also housewives who you know truly are homemakers and spend their time you know taking care of their home and taking care of their family i think it's important to you know take it seriously if you choose to be a homemaker and you know be the kind that does actually provide value to your family even though you're not providing an income rather than you know be a detriment and be you know spending extraneous money and spending your time unwisely if you are a homemaker let me know what you like or don't like about it down in the comments below and if you're not a homemaker let me know if you would ever consider it I feel like it's definitely not for everyone, but I think it can be for anyone who wants to. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like it if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.